He's won five All-Ireland Senior Football titles, two All-Stars so far, probably lots more to come, but he's also written a book. Philly McMahon is with us and we're going to do a special on The Last Word. We're going to help him launch the book. So what night are we doing this? Monday the 16th at 7 o'clock in the Helix is the, is the night of launch. Can anyone come along? Yeah, you can book on Eventbrite um, and uh, yeah. The more, the, the more the merrier. Yeah, who would you expect? Is this going to be the hill suddenly en masse turning up on the helix? Who knows, who knows. It'd be great to have a few sing songs in the audience on the night as well. We so. might even try that. <laughs> yeah. Tell us, why'd you write the book? Um, I suppose um, in 2015 I started speaking about drug addiction um, and my brother's drug addiction and that had an impact on people and, and people asked me to go and speak at different events and and I couldn't get to all of them and I suppose I wanted to help every single one of them but I just couldn't so um, this is a way of getting my story out there to people and, and hopefully that helps them in some some sort of way. So this isn't a Gaelic football memoir as such is it? Yeah there's a bit of Gaelic football in it but it's more about the choices I've made in my life um, and, the, and the choices John has made in his life um, and ultimately the opportunities that have come from the negative uh, adversity that we've had. This is very personal, has it been difficult to be so personal about your circumstances? Yeah, but I suppose it, it was, the, the process was made easy through um, the ghostwriter, Niall uh, Kelly, um, made it really easy for me. Um, and it, in a way, it's actually, I never really spoke too much about it. I obviously spoke a small bit about it in the media, um, but to go into the in-depth stories of um, of John and what, what was going on, and I suppose it was a way of you know, dealing with, with, with the bereavement. And how has Jim Gavin, the management team at Dublin, and all your colleagues on the squad, how have they reacted to the idea that you're writing a book? Well, look, there's not many Dublin footballers that do books, and there's not, there's not many footballers, certainly, that do books when they're, they're still playing, so it had to be a little bit different, and, and when I went to the management and, and some of the players and, and just asked would it affect them or what would they think about it, I suppose they understood that it was going to help people um, and that it wasn't going to affect the, the players, so they were very supportive. And the title, The Choice, mm. why that particular title? Because I believe we, we all have the power of choice, um, whether it's it's the smallest thing, you know, of getting out of bed and feeling good or bad in, in the morning time. Um, you know, we, we, we've got the power of choice in our head, you know, it's, it's, it's very important that when we hit adversity in our life, we all will, that we make the right choice and, and make sure a positive comes out of it. I'm looking forward to talking to you about it. When we talk about the book, we will talk about, about football as well that night. We'll have a bit of fun as well. Yeah. So when will the book be coming out? The 13th of October. But so people will be able to get it on the night at the Helix. Yeah. But it's free admission, I think, isn't it's it? It's free admission on the night, yeah. And you can pre-order the book now. Um, it's online now. You can pre-order the book. I'm really looking forward to it. Philly McMahon, I'm looking forward to reading it. And I'm looking forward to having the chat in the Helix. I'm sure we'll get a great crowd along.